am getting plenty of questions regarding the doubts you people have in your mind about this degree. So it's not possible for me to answer all of these right behind your comments in the comment box. So I thought to make second part of the Q&A session that I once did just one week ago or two weeks ago on my YB channel. You can check that out. I will pin the link of it. So all these doubts people have other than these questions, you can check in that video. Rest I'm answering today. So hey guys, this is Alam Kruti. I'm person BSc on a Senior Science and Artificial Intelligence from IIT Guwahati. So yeah, let's get started with answering the questions. So yeah, so I'll be seeing the questions here and answering. The very first question is, can we score decent in proctor exams in IIT G by only watching the videos or we need to do something extra? So uh, yes, you can score well by just watching the videos and reading the PPTs that have been provided in the course material. But it's not about just scoring marks in the proctor test but also to enhance your skills side by side what they're teaching you it's just focusing more towards your skill enhancement not just uh, mugging up the things and giving the test so yeah it's more than enough but if you want to enhance your skills more and more you can go for some books they have been providing the reading material of the course so yeah that's it you can score easy Next question, in certificate, will Coursera will be written on that or only IITG? So it's not the certificate, it's a degree you'll be getting after four years. Certificate would be from IIT Guwahati. So you'll be getting the foundation level, diploma level, any level of certificate, you'll be getting it by IIT Guwahati, written on it. So yeah, that's it. next question, uh, is attendance an issue in IITG? So yeah, this is a good question. Yes. If you will not be attending the classes, not I won't say about the live sessions, it's up to you, you'll be attending it or not. But in course, you know, the videos are given, apps are given, you have to attend it. Also, the videos should be attended. A minimum 75% of atten attendance is mandatory, so you need to maintain that. So, the next question What if we skip or fail a subject? We need to pay more for re exam. So, yeah, if you skip, that's another case. Uh, you have to, if you skip the course, you have to attend it again or read it again in your next trimester or whenever you want it. In the next trimester, you'll get the option of that particular subject and you can pursue it from there. What if you fail? So if you fail, then you won't be able to access it in your next trimester. You will be able to access, access this course in the second year. Like second year, uh, in one year, there are three trimesters. So in your fourth trimester, you will be getting the access of that subject that you failed and you have to pay the full fee of that particular subject that you failed in your fourth trimester along with the subjects of the fourth trimester. So yeah, this is the case. Next, is diploma level really hard in IITG to complete as a dual degree student? So uh, see, uh, till now, I'm in first year, I don't know about the diploma level, but I'm also a dual degree student. I'm also pursuing dual degrees. So I know the time management, the load I have is very much. Like time management karna is very difficult right now for me. So yeah, obviously it would be hard because as a first year student, it's very problematic for me to manage duals. So you can imagine how it would be in your diploma level. So yeah, it's hard, but if you manage or if you really want to do something, you can do that. Then, will it be hectic for a dual degree student? Any problem you're facing in time management or workload? Yeah, it's very hectic for me as a dual degree student to manage both the degrees simultaneously. Because in both the degrees, I'm in my first years when I started off the degrees. It's a BTEC degree, so... It's very hectic right now for me to manage both the degrees. But if you manage it so well that oh, you cons you are making a timetable of your work, when to do what, when to attend what, when to leave, when to not. So if you manage your time wisely, you can just pursue both the degrees very nicely. Sometimes it's too hectic, too lethargic to manage both. But... I can't just do anything about it. It's my decision totally to pursue duals and I'm doing it right now. So yeah, I have to manage it. I have no choice and no option. I have to do it and I'm doing it right now. Yeah, it's sometimes difficult, but if you manage it, you can. So yeah, that's it. 
So one question that I'm getting many times is, is laptop necessary? Yes. If you don't have laptop, you cannot pursue this degree. Like whole degree. It's not about qualifiers. It's not about the test only, but this whole degree. If you don't have laptop, you can't pursue because uh, I think so. When they uh, give their conditions when you uh, get enrolled or you uh, go for the application procedure in their website they'll uh, give you some conditions in those conditions there is mentioned that laptop is mandatory for this degree if you don't have laptop you cannot pursue this degree so yeah laptop is mandatory okay so the next question entrance test ka result aane mein kitne din lagenge so entrance test ka result aata hai just like aapne uh, 23rd may I'm just taking a random date. 23rd May ko aapne exam diya, entrance exam diya. So just wait for 10 to 15 days for them to give the results. Maybe sometimes they take more time. Sometimes they can uh, provide you with the result under 10 days. So yeah, you can expect your results in 10 to 12 days after your qualifier test. There are doubts of some someone here. First, uh, are students of this BS degree program invited in TechFest on events at IIT Guwahati? Yes, of course, you will be invited. You can go there because you have the ID card of IIT G. So yeah, definitely you can go and attend the TechFest like Tech Niche or Goringa. Many events that are happening at IIT G, you can go and enjoy that. Next, on Google it shows that for four weeks, students are allowed to visit IIT. Is it true? And if it is, then in which year level it occurs? See, as of now, as a first year student, I haven't got the opportunity till now to go to IIT G. Although I got the opportunity to visit at IIT G uh, for Alkaringa and Takish, but I was unable to due to my dual degrees K, second degree K exams. So I wasn't able to attend that. But uh, it's a four week immersion plan. They call you at IITG for some practical uh, assessment and something. So yeah, it's true. People went there, but as of, if I tell about myself, I didn't go there right till now. Okay. At the end of this, that is completing this degree within four years, will we get degree in convocation or not? Yes, of course. There is a proper convocation. After four years, you'll be called at IITG to take your degree. So yeah, you'll be going there, the proper convocation that we have in our 10 colleges, like that, you'll be going there, you'll get your degree at a convocation. That's, yes, it happens. Then, whether, whether graduates are called IIT, yes, of course. So, this degree definitely gives you the tag of IITN, obviously. But we are BS IITNs. You understand that? We are pursuing BSc from IITG. And we are pursuing course from IIT G. Although it's online, but if you're enrolled in this program, you have qualified the qualifier, and now you're pursuing a proper degree from IIT G, then obviously you'll be getting a tab of IITN. You are an IITN if you're enrolled in this degree. Okay, so some more doubts. Is it really too tough like people always say on YouTube? Yes, it is. I'm pursuing right now, and I know how much efforts, how much hard work, how much determination, how much study hours it takes to complete a week or two. Like, yeah, that not too much hard, but yes, you need to give a lot of efforts to this degree. A lot of efforts. Like people think that it's an online degree, so yeah, it's easy to write the exams and just get past in this. Don't think like that. It's tough. It's tough. I'm telling you, it's tough. So, okay, second, can I manage this degree with my offline CSU degree in a private college? I am willing to work hard, but I have heard it's too hard and it's make me reevaluate the whole situation. So, as you know, I'm pursuing duals. I'm still managing as a first year student. I'm going to complete my first year in uh, one month or two of my second degree, that is BTEC in Computer Science and AI from offline college. And this degree is also getting completed in August. So yeah, you can manage two degrees simultaneously if you are willing to give a proper time to both the degrees. It's hard, but not impossible. So yeah, you can. Next question. 
how many hours per day do I need to invest for this program? So per day, to three to two, four hours. I know it's zaga, but mehnat bahut zaga hai. You have to work hard for this per day. Minimum three hours, maximum four hours. You have to give minimum three hours. You have to. Next, is this degree helpful for placements? Do I get to sit in the placement thing when it happens, or this degree just stays in my resume to level up the print? Okay, so very good question. Yes, because the level I have seen right now or till now in this degree is too high. Like if you uh, read or if you do this degree by heart and by all your hard work, definitely you will be getting a good job after your four years when you complete your degree and maybe in your third year when you are getting into your internship. This degree is not just a level up or for your resume, but a level up for your career too. So yeah, you can trust this degree because till now, what I think is, it is. Yeah, it's a good degree and yes, if after resume tak nahi rehgi, it will give a level up to your career. So yeah, you can trust this degree. Can you give the details on mathematics essential course? Is it month continuous course? How many hours in a day? Is it recorded video or live class? Okay, so details are quite clear. It's a mathematics essential course for one month. You have to read before giving your qualifiers. One month continuous course. And yeah, it has recorded videos, no live class, just recorded videos. You have to read from it and give your qualifiers. And when you get to enroll in this degree, then you'll get your live classes as well as recorded classes. So yeah, for this mathematics essential, you won't be getting any live classes, only recorded. So the next doubt or the question, if we exit at any level, then will we get certificate of that level from IDG, not the Coursera one? Yes, if you exit after first year, you will be getting your foundation certificate. Second year, you will be getting about that, oh, I think, a diploma certificate. And in your third year, you'll be getting your BS certificate. And after four years, you'll be getting your BS, you'll be getting your BSc honors degree. So yeah, this is the difference. Next, what is the level of the MSM exam projects? Is it very difficult to give online? Uh, you say not difficult to give online as difficult? No. But yeah, the procedure is very, very strict. You can't cheat. Like, it's just like your offline exam. You're just sitting in front of a camera with your microphone on, camera on. You are just sitting. You cannot cheat. If you roll your eyes here and there, they'll catch you. If background noise comes, they'll catch you. If you go somewhere in between the exam, while your exam is going on, they'll catch you and give you zero. So yeah, it's very strict. That's why it's called proctor test. Level is, yeah, after third year, I would say, third year may, uh, like in fourth year, yeah, in fourth year, you'll be getting your capstone projects, okay? So yeah, that's difficult. If we fail in any course, we have to do the course at again, full with fee payment, or we have to just give the exam again only. We have to pay the fee again for that particular subject you failed. Okay, okay. Classes are pre-recorded, so is there any attendance criteria? We can watch at any pace because I'll have to manage my offline degree also. Uh, yes, classes are pre-recorded and there is a criteria of 75% to maintain in your pre-recorded videos also. So you need to maintain that. And uh, yes, you can watch at any pace, but at the end of your degree, you should have the attendance of minimum 75%. It's up to you. But when you give the proctor test, you need to attend the required material of the course to give that proctor so yeah definitely you will be watching the videos but it's up to you how many videos you watch at once and it's totally up to you then is it mandatory to attend live classes pre-recorded yeah it's totally mandatory to attend live classes or pre-recorded also mandatory if i take two three courses in a term will i be able to manage my time with another degree see i am taking all the courses like there are four courses like four course in one trimester and I take four of them along with my offline degree. In that BTEC degree, I have my 10 subjects and in this four. Total, I am studying 14 subjects. So yeah, you can manage. If you take all four of them or any two, three subjects, you can manage your time very easily. IITM versus IITG, which should I choose in terms of value or degree of work? See, it's totally up to you. I'm not going to tell you about both of them to select. It's up to you. See, 
uh, just keep in mind IIT M degree, see the perks of IIT M degree, see the perks of IIT G degree, and then choose between both of them. You can uh, go for two three criteria like time management, how much time both the degrees are taking. If you can manage both the degrees along with your offline degree, see. Compare both of them. That you, if you can manage IIT M degree easily with your offline degree, go for it. If you are, uh, if you can easily manage IIT G degree along with your offline degree, go for IIT G. Compare both the degrees with your schedule, then come to a decision and go for it. I am not going to tell you to select both of them because it's totally up to you to select between the two. So yeah, that's it. So the next question, B, how much per day do you have to study per day? Or B, is it a small day or not? Is it a 365 day class? Okay, so how much per day do you have to study? It's about, I've already told you, 3 to 4 hours per day if you are too serious for it. If you're not, then weekly, you can expect of 20 to 22 or 23 hours weekly. You have to study for this degree. And is it a small day? Yes, after every trimester, you get the gap of around one month. Like three months का एक trimester होता है, then you get the time of around one month to get started with your next trimester. So yeah, in one year you will be getting around two to two and a half month of leave in one year. Not two and two and a half, three months. Yeah, three months, not two and a half, three months of gap. Because three trimester, nine months, rest three months are just counts as your like the gap. So yeah. Okay, so one more question. Do you have BS in data science or BS in data science and AI for coding background? Is it good? 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 So the whole matter of this question is that is it good for coding background? Yes, obviously. Because you have almost every Yes, coding background should be good. You should know the basics of coding. Although they will teach you, but not in that much depth. You should know the coding. Like you should have your computer science in your 12th or 11th. You should have a good background of it to pursue this degree. Uh, you have a basic knowledge of this coding. So yeah, you can go for this. But you have to focus more on coding while you uh, pursue this degree. While you are pursuing this degree, you have to focus more on coding because in every trimester, you will be getting a one subject of coding. Like in your first year, in first trimester, you are having your C programming language. In second trimester, you have you are having your Python. And in third trimester of the first year, you will be having your R programming language. So yeah, in every trimester, you are having your coding language. So yeah, coding background should be good. Like not good, decent. That's it. Okay, so yeah, I have covered almost every question you people asked in the comment section. Like maximum questions I can cover. I have covered in this video so yeah that is it for this video and soon the comparison video between the IIT G and IIT M will be coming on my channel also why I chose IIT G instead of IIT M answering this in a video will be coming soon so yeah stay tuned uh, I'll see you in the next bye bye